What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of OMG K Drama. This time we're going to be talking about a brand new drama called Valid Love. This is a TVN drama that airs on Mondays and Tuesdays, which replaces Liar Game, which is definitely a difficult task because Liar Game was a hugely entertaining drama. And this one has some high expect well not high expectations but it's got a huge hole to fill. The sense this is the first two episodes of so we're gonna be talking about the first two episodes of the drama we're gonna cover. Introduce the characters and the actors and actresses behind them. So let's get it started. Go in the first two episodes of Valid Love. We introduced two of the three main characters, so we're going to talk about the two, and then we'll talk about the new main character next week. Number one, you've got Zhang Hite, who's played by Um Tae Wong, or Wong, whose latest drama or last drama b before this one was Could Be in Love. He is a substitute teacher who is a, who reluctantly falls in love with one of his students. Uh, up next, we've got Kim Yi Ri, who's played by. Yi Shiyong from Golden Cross was her previous dr previous drama. She is a student that falls in love with her substitute teacher. And then through her actions of what she committed, she said that she was going to protect him from everything. And then once she graduates from school, she's going to marry him. And through all of her persistence on that, she, I guess, she, she persuades him to fall in love with her. That's the way it goes. So... Let's talk about pretty much the what happened. Let's break down what happened in the first two episodes. It's not a whole lot. The first episode pretty much spends the entire time establishing the relationship between Hite and Iri, which basically is, well, she's a student, he's a teacher. She follows him, she kinda she likes him. He can't really like her because he's a teacher and she's a student and it's just weird. Also, that's an unacceptable unacceptable relationship professionally. Age gap wise, also that's a big no no in Korea, definitely. Well, that's a thing in Korea, the age gap is definitely taken into account. Also, he's a teacher, she's a student. Did I say that already? I might have, I don't even know. But, you know, she falls for him and she, you know, makes the commitment that she's going to protect him from everything and anything that could possibly happen to him. And then afterwards, when she finishes school, she's going to marry him. And so she commits to that, she's very persistent with it. And through her persistence and all of that, I guess she ends up charming Hite and he falls in love with her pretty much. He's like, I, I really like you and whatever. The first episode, they don't actually finish school or they didn't, she didn't finish school really in the first that we that we saw, at least in the first in this first two episodes. Um, but the big event of the entire, I guess, ser or series of, of the week is the accident is the accident now what accident am i talking about no well i'm talking about car accident not really car accident but is an accident involving a car where ed pushes hite out of the road so that he she gets hit by this car instead of him instead of him she suffered some serious 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 injuries but she will live and you know hite is very you know upset by this he is distraught he is feels like he is kind of responsible for it. And in fact, he has been accepted into or to Washington State University to study abroad, to study marine biology. And because of this accident and her injuries and his grief over it, he postpones his trip out at least twice. But in the end, he was convinced to go out and he's gone for seven years. He returns back to Korea and on the flight, he there's he's kind of thinking about it all and he says well i forgot about her she never contacted me so it's pretty obvious that she forgot about me we're never going to meet it was just a, a thing that happened in my life and i'm never ever going to see her again but what do you think happens next obviously because it, if it didn't happen then it wouldn't really make sense in, in the drama he meets her how does he meet her big question good question well He's bought, he just, you know, he bought a new suit. He's walking down the street. He's got some, some yellow paint drips on him. And then he looks up and then he's yelling at the painter, Ajushi, what are you doing? And then the, the guy takes off his, his hat and bandana and, oh, well, it's a woman. So it's Ajuma, what are you doing? And then all of a sudden 
mask and all that stuff comes off and they're like oh you you're Edie and you're a painter just like you said you were gonna be when back when you were in high school she said that she was gonna be a painter and all of that and it just seemed a bit weird at that time but she fulfilled her dream and she's a painter painting buildings fantastic and it's amazing they remember each other they didn't forget it's not amazing it really isn't that amazing you know, what did you expect? Of course, they have to remember each other and then they have to be in a relationship. So they, you know, meet, they go out, they drink soju, they drink alcohol. It's great. They get to know each other again and then they get married. Not in this episode, but they do next week at some point, I'm pretty sure. Or between this week's episodes and next week's episodes, because the preview um, pretty much indicates that they're already married. So that's it. That's what we got. That's what we got. That's basically just the first week establishing the two's relationship because, you know, it's important. It really is important to the story, you know, and I almost forgot too about the most important, not really the most important part, but a very important part is the beginning of the episode pretty much starts off with him catching her, cheating on him, going to another man's house. And we'll find out who that man is next week uh, when I will introduce that character and the actor behind it as well. So that is uh that's really all I got. We're going to talk about I just one more thing I want to talk about though is you know generally in or from past experience some genre genre dramas have some very, you know, detailed characters and the first it where it takes a few weeks for them to flesh out their backstory. Uh this drama doesn't have any of that. These characters don't have a past that matters at all because it's all about the present and the future which is fine, it doesn't matter, and it's perfectly okay. So, you know, there's not really much to talk about in terms of characters. They're not terribly interesting at this point, although, you know, as the as the drama, you know, develops and the personalities that, they, that they've been given by the, the writer of the drama, that is also, that's interesting because Edie has an interesting personality. I find her to be a rather interesting character to just, you know, as a general person, and it'll be it'll be interesting to see how this turns out because you know the preview has her falling in love with this other this guy who we don't know anything about yet because he has not been introduced to the show and you know it how how does her relationship with him work and how does her relationship with her husband work and all of their their three relationships work it's just it's weird it's going to be one of your not it's not a standard love triangle it's a bit of a different love triangle sort of situation but it's still a love triangle that's a typical k-drama plot story so that's it it's going to be interesting i'm definitely um captivated by the first two episodes so you can definitely expect another episode of this coming talking about this show coming up in the next week so that is all that i have got for this episode of omg k drama i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what you thought of the drama itself have you watched it even and if you haven't then you definitely should so that's all i've got until next week i'm going to see you all later but before you go please check out the rest of the videos on my channel if you like what you see then subscribe also follow me on twitter the link is down in the description below if you click on that give me a follow i would really appreciate that so like i said that's going to be it for this video as always i want to thank you for watching this video and i will see you all next time goodbye